this video we're going to look at the equation of a circle. Now this video is focused for GCSE students because the circles that we're going to be talking about, the centre is always going to be the origin of the point zero zero. And at GCSE level they're the only circles you need to know the equation of. So the equation of a circle with centre as the origin, zero zero, is x squared plus y squared equals whatever the radius is squared. Okay, so this is the format that's always in. So x squared plus y squared and equals the radius squared. Okay, so let's have a look at a question. So this question says find the equation of this circle. So here we've got a circle. Um, let's, we know the equation of it's going to be x squared plus y squared, the first bit of it, because we know that the centre is the origin. Now the radius of this circle from the centre to the edge is equal to 4, because it goes from 0 to 4. So that means the radius is 4, and so that means it's going to be equal to whatever the radius is squared. So I'm going to write equals 16, because 4 squared is 16. Uh, and that's how I write the equation of that circle. x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared, and 4 squared is 16. Now sometimes in a test paper or sometimes in a question, they might not write it as x squared plus y squared equals 16. They might write it as x squared plus y squared equals actually 4 squared, just actually writing down what the radius is with the squared symbol above it. Obviously 4 squared is 16, so these two equations are identical to each other, just except for writing 16, it's written 4 squared. So just note that sometimes in a question, you might see the equation of a circle in this format. Um, I like to square whatever the radius is and put it equal to that number just because it's a habit that I've got. Okay, so here we've got a question that says write down the equation of this circle. So we've got a circle. Um, the, the radius of it from the centre to the edge is equal to 5. Uh, so it's going to be equal to 5 squared. And the first bit, because the centre is the origin, is going to be x squared plus y squared and it's equal to the radius squared, 5 squared is 25, and that's it. So that's the equation of this circle. As I've said, you could write x squared plus y squared equals 5 squared if you wanted to, but it's really up to you. Okay, next one. The next question says, draw the circle x squared plus y squared equals 9. Now at GCSE level, um, it's going to be, have the center of the origin, and because it's just x squared plus y squared, we can see it's the origin. Um, now the radius of it, well, we've got equals 9, so what we're going to do is we're going to square root the 9. Square root of 9 is equal to 3, so we know the radius of the circle is equal to 3. So what you would do is you would get the point of your compass, put it on the origin, you put the pencil on 3, and you draw a circle, and you just be, you're just be very careful whenever you draw it, and you draw a nice circle with your compass, and it should look something like this. Um, center uh, as the origin, goes through 3, 3, minus 3, minus 3, a nice perfect circle. And use your compass when doing that. Try to avoid just drawing it freehand. Okay, next question. Um, this question is asked us to show the point minus 12, 5 is on the, is on the circle with equation x squared plus y squared equals 169. So we're trying to show a point is on the circle. So what we're going to do is we're just going to know that a coordinate is in the format x and y. So the x is equal to minus 12. The y is equal to 5. And we're just going to substitute those or plug them into the formula. So the formula is x squared plus y squared equals 169. So it's going to be minus 12 squared. Now be very careful if you're using a calculator for this, be very careful to make sure you're putting the minus 12 in brackets plus 5 squared. And that equals hopefully 169. Well, minus 12 times minus 12 is 144. 5 squared is equal to 25, and again, hopefully that equals 169. Adding these together, it was just 169 equals 169. So, yes, it is a point on the circle. Um, minus 12, 5 is a point on the circle. And that's it. So if you want to show the points on a circle, you just put in the x value and the y value into the equation of a circle, and it should work out for you. Um, if it doesn't equate, then it's either not on the circle or you've maybe made a mistake with the minus sign and squaring. Just be very careful, as I said, plugging it into the calculator. Okay, our second last equation, our second last example. Find the equation of the circle drawn. So here we've got a circle. Um, now, the difference between this one and the other ones are um, they haven't labeled the axes. And before I could just look and see what the radius of the circle was. But here, actually, what we're going to need to do is find the radius of the circle. So we're going to draw a line from the origin to the point. And what we need to do is find the length of that line. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into a right angle triangle. Because I know this coordinate is 6 along six along the corridor. Uh, the x value is 6, so it's 6 along. So it's 6 along here. So that's the point 6, so it's 6 along there. And it's 
minus eight, so we know it's eight down here. So this is a right angle triangle there. We know that this value is six, we know this value is eight, and we can use Pythagoras' theorem to work out the length of the hypotenuse. And the length of the hypotenuse will be the radius of the circle. So if we label them, A shorter side, B next smallest, and C being the largest, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So the two short sides, so that's gonna be six squared plus eight squared equals the hypotenuse, the radius, uh, C, I'm gonna call it R actually for the radius, um, squared. So six squared is equal to 36. Uh, 8 squared is equal to 64, and that equals the radius squared. Adding them together gives you 100 equals r squared. Um, and um, now at this point, obviously r could be plus or minus 10, but given that this is the length of a line, we're just going to square root both sides and get r equals 10. Uh, just be careful whenever you get equations such as x squared equals a positive value because it could sometimes be plus or minus but in this situation it could just be a positive value so we've got the radius here is equal to 10 now those of you that know your um, right angle triangles you'll know that 3 4 5 is what we call a Pythagorean triplet and um, so we double the 3 4 5 we get 6 8 10 so that I knew the radius was going to be 10 straight away for this um, for the circle it says write down the equation of the circle now the equation of a circle because it's the center of the origin it's going to be x squared plus y squared and it equals the radius squared now the radius is 10 so it's going to be x squared plus y squared we're going to square our 10 to be 100 and that's it so x squared plus y squared equals 100 um, if this wasn't um, a nice square number that we could have square rooted um, we could have just gone back up here and seen the r squared equals and whatever number and then just plug that in for the r squared bit for the equation of a circle okay now last question our last question says this, the circle shown has equation x squared plus y squared equals 64 find the circumference of the circle give your answer in terms of pi so because the equation of a circle is in the format x squared plus y squared equals r squared, we know that the radius squared equals 64. So that means that r equals 8. So it means the radius of the circle is 8. So that's the distance from the origin to the edge. Now circumference, uh, circumference is pi times diameter, <laughs> just thinking of the song, but circumference is equal to pi times diameter, or depending on which sort of um, formula your teacher uses, it might be used circumference equals two pi r, both the same. Um, so we're just gonna do circumference equals pi times diameter, but the diameter of the whole circle will be equal to 16. So it's gonna be pi times 16. And so the uh, circumference of the circle is equal to 16 pi. Um, in this one, we're just timesing the radius by two, first of all, so the 16 times it by pi, again, would be equal to 16 pi. So both of them give you the same answer. And that's it. So the circumference of this circle will be 16 pi.